you. What is the matter? I just want to see what it is. It's probably an ad. Uh, come on, an advertising gimmick. Or is it somebody's idea of a joke? Oh, a gift shop that uh, is selling party favors. You know, things for parties. It's stupid. Uh, hey, it's nothing more I, than I, that. I don't so like on, this kind of mail, all right? Well, I know it can be annoying, but why are you so upset about it? Jenny? I... I uh, seem to be getting upset about a lot of things these days. Do you have a reason? A new show, I guess. The idea of syndication sort of causes a little anxiety. Well, maybe I should work on that anxiety. Hey. Please do. Look, everything you've touched lately has been a success. Now, why shouldn't this show be exactly the same? You'll sell in all kinds of new markets. You'll... Uh, You'll do very well. You have a great track record. Short track record. It's a very impressive one. Local track record. You're not just a success in your work area, no. No. No, in my opinion, one of your biggest successes now is our... our marriage. Yeah, I can't imagine, considering where we started from. Now that you mention it. <laughs> I wouldn't think you'd even want to be reminded of that. Well, just the opposite. It makes it even more special to think of how it started and what it is now that makes it more impressive, more beautiful. It's strange, isn't it? What we did was for Mike, and now we've both gotten so much out of it. Mike is thriving on your tender loving care. Mike was thriving on your tender loving care long before I came back into his life. Well, he's in full bloom now, that's all. I want it to, um, stay that way. I don't want anything to ever change that way. Then we'll hold on to it together. I guess I really got it made, don't I? I know I do. And you should enjoy every great thing that comes your Every way. single minute of it. That's right. <laughs> including Friday. The party. Oh, the party. The party's not just for me. It's for Frisco, too, you know. As far as I'm concerned, you happen to be the star of that occasion. Oh, thank you. And I think it calls for um, a little extra razzle-dazzle. Meaning what? Meaning that you go out and you find you buy the most beautiful dress you can possibly imagine. In other words, live a little. You got it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want anything, Algernon? No, thanks. Uh, my taxi should be here any moment. Well, Cassidine's gone, and now I'm going. Actually, I think it was my coming here that led to Cassidine's downfall. Oh, I'm sure of it. Yes, I think I've earned this Caribbean cruise. Most certainly. Well, think of me soaking up the sun far, far away. Oh, we shall enjoy thinking of you far, far away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Robert. Why do you think we haven't heard the last of Petros? Because we don't know why Cassidy went to the trouble of planting that brooch on Algernon here in order to find an excuse to come to Port Charles. Well, he certainly misjudged me, that's all I can say. He had no idea what he was up against with a man like me. Yeah, that was a major mistake. Mm. However, you know, Cassidy's final words were that he bowed to come back. Yes, well, I think I hear my taxi out front. Uh, I've really, I, I've had a smashing time. Thank you all so much. Well, we shall think of you often. It was lovely having you here, Algernon. Yes, Robert. Well, a bit of excitement. Good for the liver, what? Always, yes, yeah, <laughs> always. Have a lovely time and do be careful. Careful? Uh, of what? Civil. Yes. Civil? Oh, yes. Yes. Civil. Civil. Yes. Yes. yes, of course. Yeah. Oh, the sultry civil. Yeah. Yes, of course. And we don't expect to hear from you soon. Oh. oh. Great heavens. Hey, guys. I hope nothing's gone wrong. No, no. Oh, well, look, I, I really must be going. Goodbye. Uh, Bye for now. Bye. You heard the news? Yes, we know the news. Cassidine has set sail. Can I get you anything? Uh, no, thanks. Well, come on, sit down. Robert just told me that Petros has vowed to come back. Yes, well, it's a threat anyway. Uh, Robert, I checked with the legal department, and they informed me that the uh, injunction that stopped Petros from getting the venture <laughs> is temporary. That man is going to get that ship. Now, you got any fresh ideas, Robert? As to why Petros chose poor Charles to make his move on the venture, I don't have any. Well, Sean is obviously trying to think of something. I doubt. And I might come up with something. Who knows? 
You know, I think I figured out the why of it. Too bad. He just beat you to it. He may be wrong. Now, Valentine, you may not want to answer this question, but uh, do you have any undercover WSB men here in Port Charles? Nope. Well, I've got a top ex-agent, but as police commissioner, Robert's help is limited. Uh, we, we do have all the other major ports covered. Well, don't you think Petros has the connections to inform him that Port Charles is not covered by the WSB? He'd make it his business to know. Then we know why Petros Cassadine selected Port Charles. Gentlemen, we got some more talking to do. Well, then why don't I get some refreshments? But don't you talk about anything till I get back, all right? It'll take me 60 seconds to get some rolls and coffee, all right? <sighs> Can you read my writing? Virginia Geller, right? That's the lady. Date of arrest, yes. Yeah, I can read it. You can get me a copy of the rap sheet of her arrest and the charges. Absolutely. All it takes is money. Some for me to hand out, some for me to keep. You know what my rates are. Oh, yeah, I know. I got it with me in cash. Now, I want the goods on Virginia Geller. I have a plane to catch a little later on this afternoon, back to New York, so I need it within the next couple of hours. This, uh, Geller, she an enemy of some kind? Or are you planning to sell her the rap sheet for a big chunk of money? Look, what I do with the rap sheet is my business. Your business is to get it for me. Understood? Mm-hmm. When can you get it for me? Well, let's see. You can relax a while. How? Mr. Brock, you're in the land of sunshine. A taxi will get you to the beach in no time. Soak up a little sun, take a swim, relax. How long am I going to relax? I'll meet you back here at 3, OK? 3 o'clock.